The question today is on error propagation in division and the question reads given the expression 9.7 divided by 3.7 find to four significant figures the percentage error in its quotient so the actual quotient is given by 9.7 over 3.7 of which from my calculator I get 2.62162 the next thing we are going to get the limits of 9.7 and 3.7 so 9.7 lies within the limits 9.65 to 9.75 and for 3.7 we also have the limits as 3.65 to 3.75 now what I did here take for example 9.7 I determined the least unit of measurement for 9.7 which is 0 0.1 that is because 9.7 is expressed to one decimal place and therefore the error in that measurement is obtained as plus or minus a half the least unit of measurement which is 0 0.1 and that is 0 or rather plus or minus 0 0.05 so in order to get the upper limit we simply add 0 0.05 to 9.7 and in order to get the lower limit we simply subtract 0 0.05 to 9.7 so that is how we obtained the limits the same applies to 3.7 because 3.7 is also expressed to one decimal place so we are going to add and subtract 0 0.05 as we did for 9.7 so the procedure here is for us to get the percentage error in the quotient first thing is to get the absolute error so let me write here we will get the absolute error relative error and then finally the percentage error so first we are going to determine the absolute error and the absolute error is obtained as maximum quotient minus minimum quotient all divided by 2 so this means that we need to get the maximum quotient but the maximum quotient is obtained as maximum value of the numerator over the minimum value of the denominator and the maximum value of the numerator on the numerator we have 9.7 and the maximum value is the upper limit which is 9.75 over the minimum of the denominator and the denominator is 3.7 so the minimum value is the lower limit 3.65 and this worked out is 2.67123 we also need to get the minimum quotient and the minimum quotient is obtained as minimum of the numerator all over maximum of the denominator and the minimum of the numerator now is 9.65 that is the lower limit over the maximum of the denominator 3.75 and that worked out gives us 2.57333 with this we can now get the absolute error and the absolute error is obtained by simply taking maximum quotient 2.67123 minus the minimum quotient 2.57333 and then we divide by 2 so this worked out should give us 0 0.04895 and then from there we can now get the relative error and the relative error is absolute error over the actual quotient and absolute error we have as 0 0.04895 and the 
actual quotient we had worked out earlier on, 2.62162. So we have 2.62162. And then with this we can therefore, so that implies that the percentage error is simply the relative error times 100, which is 0 0.04895 over 2.62162 times 100. Well, when this is worked out, we will get 1.867%. Alternatively, we can also say percentage error is obtained by simply having the relative error by 100 and an alternative way of getting the relative error for the quotient is simply finding the relative error for each measurement, that is relative error for 9.7 and relative error for 3.7, and then we sum them up. So already we know that the error in measurement of 9.7 is plus or minus 0 0.05, and therefore the absolute error for the measurement will be the positive value of 0 0.05. So we are going to have the relative error for 9.7 as absolute error which is 0 0.05 over 9.7 plus the relative error for 3.7. Again we have the absolute error 0 0.05 over 3.7. This will give us the relative error of which we'll have to multiply by 100. So when we work out these, we should get 0 0.01867 and then times 100. So when this is multiplied, we get 1.867%, just like we got earlier on. So Remember, the question required us to give our answer to four significant figures. So that is why I've also expressed the answers to four significant figures as shown. So that is it for this question. Thank you for your patience. Hope to see you in the next video.